So question 15 from the 2016 advanced higher maths. There we go, second order differential equation. In fact, there's a bit of deja vu going on, I think. These last four questions, you know, the four big ones, are very reminiscent of last year's exam. But there's nothing wrong with consistency. Anyway, it's a 10 mark question and there's some initial conditions which I'll put when I have to go through another board, obviously, because this is going to go on and on. But you'll get there. Well, first part is, let's solve the homogeneous equation. This equal to zero. So we'll get the auxiliary equation, which will just be m squared plus 5m plus 6 equals zero. Breathe a sigh of relief. As you notice, that factorises very nicely. m, m, multiply to give 6 and add to give 5, 2 and 3 plus plus, which means m equals negative 2 or m equals negative 3. So now you've got your complementary function, which will be y equals so many lots of e to the negative 2x plus so many lots of e to the negative 3x. Put that back in again and get the full equation. Now we need the particular integral that will rattle through there. I think I'll need more space here. I'm going to just put it over here for this particular integral. And the obvious one to try is another quadratic. I'm going to still use a, b and c, but I'll use lowercase letters so there's no conflict. ax squared plus bx plus c. Right, if I want to feed that in, I'll need both derivatives. dy by dx will be 2ax plus b. And the second derivative will just be 2a. Now I'm going to feed it in. So I want just one of them. I'll just put it down this way. One of them. I want five of them. 2ax plus b. And I want six of them. So I'll be six times ax squared plus bx plus c. And even at that I've run out of room because I wanted to make that equal to that. But I'll just tidy this up first of all because I need the three parts. I need to know how many x squareds, how many x, and what the number is. Well, x squared, I don't know why I gave that so much room. In fact, we'll just borrow some. x squared, a bit more for x, and pff, same again for you. Oh, well, couldn't help it. So, x squared, there's only one, that's 6a. x's, what makes the x's? We've got a 10a, and we've got a 6b. What makes the constants their own? We've got a 2a, we've got a 5b, and we've got a 6c. Just put the equals to underneath. That's meant to equal 12x squared plus 2x minus 5. How about that then for an arrangement? So I've got these equations. Here's my first one. 6a must make 12, so a must be 2. Not pop into here. 10a, which is now 20, plus 6b must make 2, equating the coefficients. Well, 20 minus 18, so 6b must be minus 18, so b is negative 3. I don't think we need to show all the wee bits and pieces of arithmetic. Now that we know both of them, we can pop into that so last one. 2a would be 4, 5b would be minus 15, plus, well that was meant to be 6c, wasn't it? Plus 6c should equal negative 5. Take that across, it's 10, take the 4 across, it drops to 6, so c equals 1. So now we've got my particular integral, which will be 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. But we'll need another board to write out the two together as the general solution. Pushing it up there for some room, there's the general solution, putting the two parts together, the complementary function and the particular integral. And here's the initial conditions to be fed in to get the particular solution here. Well, we can start off straight away with this line. Y is negative 6 when X is 0. Well, if X, I'll just put it in first of all, that'll be a e to the 0 plus b e to the 0. I don't think I need to put them in, I'll just put plus 1. So I can write, unfortunately, a plus b, taking that across, equals negative 7. So I didn't get one of them straight off, so they're still both in there. 
In order to use this one, I'll have to differentiate it, so I've still got both parts. dy by dx will be negative 2a lots of e to the negative 2x minus 3b e to the negative 3x, but these start to drop away, plus 4x minus 3. Now I'll use this initial condition. The derivative is 3 when x is 0. So that's negative 2a e to the 0 minus 3b e to the 0. That's 0, so minus 3. I think this time I'll take them over this side and say that becomes 2a plus 3b and taking that 3 across equals negative 6. So there's a second equation. Now I could do a substitution, but I think I'll just use elimination and have. I'll subtract two of them from this. 2 minus 2 lots of 1. So that means I'd have 2a minus 2a disappears. 3b minus 2 lots of that just goes down to a single b. That was very handy. And negative 6 but plus 14 gives me an 8. And then immediately from number 1, if b is 8, a must be negative 15. Now you can write down the particular solution, which is y equals negative 15 e to the negative 2x plus 8 lots of e to the negative 3x plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Ah. <sighs>